Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azubro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So, today there is going to be a new special round. So, we're going to be taking on a Sigilith. 15 moves, let's do this. We're going to try to see if we can catch this thing. Here we go! We have 15 moves! We are going with the Mega Gengar, I guess. Alright. Let's go with the Gengar and the Scyther there. And I'm thinking if we can break all this stuff, that would probably be nice. But it's always... Probably would have been better with the Mega Sableye to break everything. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's go for... Let's go for the Gengar. Let's go for the Zoroark. Since it's breaking something. So we're gonna get the Mega Evolution off on Gengar, and that is actually gonna end the game. What do you know? Scyther actually did some work. So with that, we are going to not even use the Mega Evolution, but we got the Mega Evolution off, and with that, we have defeated Sigilef. Catch ability is really low, but 52%. Oh, we can catch us in with a Great Ball easily. This is a coin toss for the Pokeball, but... We are going to fail with a Pokeball. I am going to use a Great Ball because, I mean, probably shouldn't, but 2,500 coins? I don't know. Either way, with that, we have obtained Sigilith. And that was, I believe, an S rank defeat. Fair enough. So that's one more Psychic-type Pokémon we have. Also, we can check in, actually. That'll give us a free, I think, 500 or 1,000 coins, something like that. Like, 500. So with that, we obtained 500 coins. Fair enough. Now, we are going to go back and try to get Froakie and Fan again at some point. For now, I'm going to move on to Feed Ass. Let's do this. So we have 20 moves to win this thing. Here we go. Family catch a feed ass. Alright, I wanna move. I think I'm trying to get the Ampharos here. Mega Evolution and Ampharos, I think, is probably our best move for the given moment. There are too many feed ass on this field, I must say. Way too many. We're not going to get this Mega Evolution off anytime soon, I don't think. So you know what, I'm just going to stop trying, I think. Let's do that, get rid of some of those feedbacks. Alright, let's go for... I'm going to do what's suggested. This is probably not going to work to our advantage here. Alright, let's do this, I guess. Because now we can do this. We need to make evolution off as soon as we possibly can. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go for... Yeah, so now we can't go for the met. Probably two make two Ampharos rows from a Mega Evolution. Just do that. And that that'll give us the Mega Ampharos. I don't know how much help that's really gonna do in the long run, 
but for now, it, I mean, it's nice to have the Mega Evolution, I guess. Maybe it can break some of those fee bass from us. Alright, now we have to go for Zapdos. Question is, which Zapdos do we want to use? If it's this one. Yeah, that Mega Evolution definitely made a difference here. Now it's a matter of what... That. Hmm. If I go for... If I go for the Zapdos, would I go for the 5 Zaptile? I'm gonna go for the Zaptile there. That was a mistake, clearly. Alright. That'll finish it, that with the Ampharos. Okay! So with that, we are going to defeat Feebass with one move remaining. Can we catch it, though? I, I don't like those odds very much. I mean, it's a Feebass, but it's a Feebass. So... With that, 72% chance of catching this thing. I like those odds, actually. I really like those odds. So with that, we are going to catch Feebass. It's probably a level C, you know, a level B rank defeat. But with that, we have obtained Feebass. So next up is going to be a Poochiena. So here we go. Let's do this. You have 10 moves to win this thing. Here we go. Okay, okay, Poochie, and you want to play this game? You want to play like that? Here we go. Um... How do we want to go about doing this? I want to go for the Four Scyther, but at the same time... Hmm. Let's do this for now. Um, let's do this, I guess. That was a little helpful, I guess, Poochiana. Thank you for that. Let's go for our... Do I go for the Lucario, or... I can't... I can go for Xerneas, but... I can... But that's not really gonna do too much. If I go for the Scizor... I don't know which one to go for. What is this? Like, with five Lucario. Alright. Now things are gonna get a little more complicated because we have to go for... I don't think we're gonna get the Mega Evolution off anytime soon, to be honest. Yeah, we only have moves remaining. That's really unfortunate, because now we have to actually really get get things done. If we lose this round, then that's just pathetic. Alright, let's do this. So we'll be able to get the Mega Evolution off, and the Scythe that will also land. That should finish it, but we have no moves left. Clearly that was the right move at the end, but at the same time, we could have done a lot better. My guess is we're going to have like a 20% catchability of that. No, it has a high catchability to begin with, so we're actually... It's probably a B or C level, just a level defeat, but we should be able to catch this thing. And a great ball. And a great ball. So, I would like to catch this thing. If we can get the capture here, it's, I mean, it is what it is. So with that, we did catch a Poochiana. That was a C-rank defeat. 
maybe at some point we'll try to go back and improve upon that. We'll, we'll see what happens. So next up is gonna be a pile of trash. Great. Never been a huge fan of Trubbish. Um, in fact, I've never really liked Trubbish at all. But, in all fairness, Garboder's worse. So, take it for what it is. Alright. We only have a few moves to do this, so let's do this. If I lose to a Trubbish, I'm just gonna feel horrible about myself. Let's go for... I can't find the perfect... Wait, wait, I wanna go for an... Wait, I wanna go for a slow girl, I guess, here. So with that, we are gonna get the victory with no moves remaining. But it's still a victory nonetheless. If that thing doesn't have a high catch ability, then I really don't care about catching it. But then again, I do want to catch them all. 44% chance of being caught. For the 88% chance, I go for the Great Ball. I really don't know. Uh, you know what? I don't want to deal with Trubbish again. Just getting the Great Ball. Obviously, you don't like me because you're a piece of trash. But, I'll still catch it. So with that, we did catch a Trubbish, and that's that. If you like Trubbish, good for you. Okay. Alright, let's move on to the next Pokemon, which is going to be... Hippopotus. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Mega Glalie, let's see what you can do. Or... I guess Glalie. We have 15 moves, maybe we can get the Mega Evolution off. Who really knows for sure? That said, let's try doing this here. Let's break some stuff, alright. Where is there a good place for a Glalie? I guess let's just do this. And just hope for the best. Sometimes you just have to go for the long shot and just hope for the best, because it seems like it'll do more damage. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Just hoping for the best. It's probably not the best idea in the entire world, but... We are gonna get the Mega Evolution off, so that's convenient. Go for the Articuno or the Mega Glalie. I'm gonna go for the Glalie, just to be safe. When in doubt, go for the Mega Evolution, I guess, unless you can get, like, five in a row or something. When it's, like, an L-shape, probably you're better off just going for the Mega Evolution. Unless it's a really weak Mega Evolution. But, I don't know. It seemed to work out for us this time, so this catchability is 70%. I like those odds a lot, to be honest. Even though there's a 30% chance of it breaking out, still would catch with a Great Ball there. So with that, we are going to be catching the Hippopotus with the Pokeball. And that was an S-rank defeat. So next up is going to be Bagon. Cool little dragon bait Pokemon. Alright, let's do this. So I guess in this game, uh, how should I put this? Salamence confirmed. Alright, let's go for a... I don't even know what we want to do here, to be totally honest. But go for it. Let's do that. It seemed to do something, so hey, that worked. Alright. There it is for better off because it has that power of five. We're better off with getting five of them, but setting up five in a row is not as easy as it sounds. I think Articuno might have the same ability. Positive. Let's do 
this. Alright, how can we get to this? I'm gonna line up the glalie. Please do not. Alright. So we can do this now. And we can do that. That'll give us the Mega Evolution. Maybe Articun is power 4, I'm not positive. I, I know it's something in power 4 we just used. I don't know which one it was, but I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I should read more often what I'm doing. Great. Alright, let's do this. At least we're doing some damage to this thing now. So. Doing some damage to this thing. Probably not enough damage, to be totally honest. But. At least we're doing something. That thing has a lot of health, I must say. It's a lot of health. Alright, let's go for the Articuno and the. Dragonite, and that is gonna be enough to take down the bad guy. The Mega Evolution definitely made a difference. I know I say that a lot, but in this case, in those cases when I say it made a difference, it really does make a difference. But with that, we are going to be defeating the bad guy with an extra move remaining. Is that gonna be the difference between catching this thing and not catching this thing? Let's find out. Alright, that is. Not gonna make much of a difference. Okay, 22% chance of catching this thing. Do I go for the Great Ball? I'm gonna go for one Great Ball. It's gonna break out of it. There's, I'm pretty sure it's gonna break out. 44% chance. I don't like those odds. But with that, we actually are gonna catch the bag on. So that actually was not a bad move with the Great Ball. I just didn't know it at the time. Alright, so. Next up is going to be Pancham. This is a three Pokemon stage. Let's see what happens. Those three Pokemon stages, I feel like they're... I don't know. Sometimes they're better, sometimes they're not. I mean, the good thing is, it makes things easier. It's like they give you a free complexity minus one. And that's always nice. So let's go for the Mewtwo and the Xerneas there. Alright. Because there's always, I feel like, more... There's always more going on, I think, in these kind of rounds. For better or worse, that is. Alright, let's go for... I don't even know what I want to do right this second, to be honest. This will do this. We only have seven moves remaining, though. We're good to neg evolution off, so that should make things... So probably some, probably a little simpler. The Mega Slowbro is definitely going to make things simpler for us, except I don't know to what degree, but we should finish it. Nope, that doesn't finish it. We are going to finish it with the Xerneas here. And that's goodbye to Jam. With three moves remaining. So with that, we have defeated Pancham. Now the fact that most of these Pokemon, I feel like, in this wacky workshop are first stages kind of says to me there's probably going to be even more to come. That's a 29% chance of catching this thing. Those odds are a little bit less than what I would prefer. 58% with the Great Ball. I don't like those odds. I really don't like those odds. Alright, come on, Pancham. You want to be caught, don't you? Alright. Last hit. Your last chance. This is your last chance. In theory, it should be a coin toss. Actually, it should be better than a coin toss. You should be caught in two great balls. So with that, we are actually going to hatch the Pancham. I have nothing against Pancham. It's a cool little panda Pokemon. I can't hate on that. In no possible way. Therefore...
we have obtained a Pancham. So, today we got Phoebus, Poochiana, Trubbish, Hippotus, Bagon, Pancham, and, of course, the Sigilyph. I don't know if there's more expert stages or not. I don't think so. I didn't see anything about expert stages. So I'm not going to worry right this second about getting S rank on every Pokemon we have defeated so far here in Wacky Workshop. But at some point, we are going to try to go back and catch Froakie and Fennekin. Possibly try to bring up our ranks in some of these defeats. And, th and we're also going to be going after Yamask. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like it could be, I don't know, maybe a Milo tick, especially because we just took on Feebass, but we just took on Feebass. Huh. Well, either way... There must, there must be more to this place, then, because... A, it keeps going on after this. And B... It's not a... It's not a Mega Evolution. I, don't, I can't think of a Mega Evolution that looks like that. Maybe it's not Milo tick, but... Then again, the, the Wacky Workshop looks like it goes on after this one. So there's got to be more to it. That's it. Next time, I guess we're going to be going after Froakie and Fennekin again, plus Yamask. And whatever else we happen to face. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.